Welcome back to Wiki Universe. Today I'm gonna be painting the wing, uh, the back wing of uh, of the car. It can be any car, or you want to buy a specific one for your specific vehicle. So the, that's how the wing comes. It's primed. Uh, one thing you want to have is brake parts cleaner and one of uh, these microfiber towels. So before you paint it, even though it's already primed, you want to make sure it doesn't have any grime or anything. So spray a little bit of brake parts cleaner and then wipe it off. Okay, once you have wiped it off, you might want to take these screws. You don't want to paint those screws. So take them off. Okay, now that you have taken the screws off, it's ready to paint. You already uh, cleaned it with the rag. Okay, so the other thing is it's always a good idea to use the box that the wing actually came in. So uh, to spray inside. And the first thing you want to do, you want to paint the back of the wing first and then flip it around and I'm gonna tell you why because when you paint this part then you can flip it around and then paint the top one and that way you're not gonna mess it up the part of the wing that you see first on top so that's always the first and good idea to paint the bottom first okay okay this is the paint we're gonna be using it's red and once you have your paint, what you want to do is you want to be painting left and right. You don't want to be doing up and down, only left and right. Before you spray, make sure you have shaked your paint really, really thoroughly because you don't want to be spraying any. Um, air or some additional stuff that's in the bottle because there's a few things that's beside the paint that's in there so make sure you shake it real well like maybe a minute or two and then start painting okay we're ready to go okay you have to spray it a couple of times don't repeat at the same time one spot make sure you when you spray you spray different spots and then wait to get dry maybe a couple of seconds and depends on how warm it is outside and then repeat again now it's always a good idea to have one of these gloves when you spray so you don't have any additional paint on your fingers that's going to be hard to clean so always make sure you have that and this is the second time we repeat it. We're gonna wait a couple of minutes and then do it again. Okay, once you have done finishing painting on the bottom side of that wing, you might wanna keep it for at least a couple of hours on the sun, preferably, so it can dry real nice and then flip it around and do the top part. Okay, we're done with the bottom part. So what's left is the top part to be sprinted real nice now we're gonna have you want to take your time with this one you don't want to be rushing it because this is the part that you're gonna actually see every day so take your time I'm gonna spray a couple times and then we're gonna dry it out I'm gonna let it dry for at least overnight okay we have finally finished painting the top part of the back wing and that's how it looks looks pretty nice so now we're gonna let it sit for at least 24 hours just to make sure that the paint is dry and then we're gonna install it thank you guys for watching us see you later